Then I started in Gainesville in January 2018 and came in halfway through the year. I have taught math, social studies, science, and this is my first year teaching ELAR and math. Miss Endress is a true example of an exemplar teacher. She is one of few teachers who teaches several core subjects and she does it with ease. She plans with multiple teams and delivers the lessons in the classroom in a variety of ways to have students be successful. Because I get to PLC and plan with my ELR team, but my math team, we meet after hours or before school. Uh, a lot of the time we'll do the fun videos for hooks and then they remember what they already knew. And a lot of it is student-centered where those students are interacting with each other in their small groups. We come back together as a class and they share what they discovered as a group and a lot of the times either other groups have came to that same conclusion or they can add to it and expand on that even more. She creates lessons that involve technology, independent work on every student's level, and meets with students in small groups to ensure they are successful. Well, a lot of our fifth grade students, especially with that year of COVID, they have a gap. And so the more engaging ELAR is, the more they want to learn how to read, and we need to close those gaps. Nice. And so she knows her students and builds relationships to know what they enjoy and what they, their interests are, and she hones in on that during her lessons. She meets with students and conference with them and creates a plan to make sure they are successful in her classroom and in life. But once we see each other as not just a student and a teacher, we're able to build that relationship and just have that sense of respect for each other as people. And Miss Endress is a positive impact on the district as a whole. She's a team player. She builds the best lessons for her students. She, she is one that teachers can go to to ask for advice on the campus. She's a professional educator who's always willing to learn new things and try them in the classroom. The very beginning, I worked with four-year-olds. And after working with four-year-olds, I decided four-year-olds were not for, they, not for the faint of heart. After student teaching in sixth grade, I really just enjoyed the age level. And our students here in Gainesville, they are some of the best students. You know they need you here and that the students really do appreciate you being here to be their teacher.